Joining us from Tripoli, Libya, under months and months of bombardment, British attack helicopters now being dispatched, uh, U.S. and British forces advising admitted Taliban and al-Qaeda uh, in the fight against Muammar Gaddafi. The attempted assassinations are ongoing, and they're not even calling them assassinations, even though they're admitted. Uh, the Russians are now calling for an immediate ceasefire in Libya, saying this is an attack, a humanitarian disaster. Uh, they now admit the rest of the Arab Springs are being funded by the CIA. That's now admitted. Um, Google and others in Europe have just been praised for it. Uh, former Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney has been demonized because she has a lot of courage. She spoke up against a dying court in Halliburton child kidnapping rings and got Rumsfeld to admit it. She fought against forced inoculations. She, she fought against the Patriot Act. Uh, she has a lot of courage. And she's a member of the Green Party. Um, She's been awarded uh, the Peace Through Conscience Award from the Munich American Peace Committee. Uh, and yesterday she appeared on state-run Libyan TV, and that's caused quite a hubbub here uh, domestically because uh, she, uh, she has the courage to, to go to that. Uh, we were talking to her yesterday on the phone with bombs going off in the background. Uh, Congresswoman, uh, we appreciate you joining us. Alex, it's been too long. I have wanted to come on your show for so long, but um, it's quite... Um, you know, whenever we get together, it, it's wonderful. So thank you so much for having me on. And, um, you know, it's dark here now. And uh, after the meeting of uh, President and Cameron, we expect that uh, there will be intense bombing tonight. We don't know that, but we expect that that's what is in store for us. More humanitarian intervention from NATO. And Obama told Cameron, no let up on Gaddafi. Uh, now, uh, have you talked to Gaddafi? What have you witnessed? What are you seeing? We're seeing the images of civilian dead, burning buildings. And our media tells us 1984 style, this is not an assault. This is not an attack. This is humanitarian. They're sinking on eight ships last week in the harbor. Uh, bombs going off everywhere. More bombs yesterday. What are you witnessing? Um, they're lying. The American people are being lied to, um, not only by the media, by their leaders. Um, and this is becoming a humanitarian disaster. For example, I have a, an Italian woman here who did everything she could to purchase medicines because they want to purchase medicines. And... Um, the government of Italy put a stop on the uh, purchase by the Libyans of medicine for their people. And that's a violation of the uh, Geneva Convention. That is a serious war crime. That's right. And, and then we have the situation with uh, uh, fuel for uh, civilian use. Um, they, they have uh, effectively blockaded the harbor so that deliveries of benzene for, to uh, fuel the cars um, is um, uh, not permitted. And this is affecting the civilian population. So you will see what looks like a traffic jam. And actually, it's cars lined up, hundreds of cars lined up at the service station. So they have Libya under siege. Uh, tell us what it's like on the ground. Tell us, tell us what you're witnessing. Tell us what you said on uh, Libyan television. Well, basically, um, now here's the interesting thing, because um, these people, uh, the, 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 the Libyans, are undeterred. They seem to be unafraid. I was with uh, a group of women I wrote in the piece that, that I did, A Feast of Blood, um, about a woman whose mother is in Benghazi. And uh, she can't, it's sort of like the situation with Hurricane Katrina, she can't get back to Benghazi because, um, you know, Benghazi is the stronghold of the rebels. Now, the interesting thing, what I've been told today, I haven't checked it out yet, but that there is a sort of, Active Israeli um, intervention in, in Benghazi and that the Israelis are on the ground under contract, probably being paid to organize uh, the, the, the uh, NATO alliance of, uh, that consists of 
Libyans, but it's my understanding that these so-called rebels are not just Libyans. They are uh, people from all over the region. These are, these are not even uh, mainly Libyans. These are Egyptians and Algerians. and It's the and, CIA uh, secret Al-Qaeda brigades from the 1980s. That's now been admitted. Uh, yes. And and there's U.S. and British commandos have been there since before it started. That's now uh, confirmed. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. Why did you decide to go to Libya, uh, former Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney? Well, um, I guess, uh, you know, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm accustomed to going into conflict zones. And um, I, I just uh, could not accept that this was being done in my name. And, you know, it's, it, there comes a point when you're fed up, you're tired, and you want to do as much as you can possibly do. And, of course, I, I come from the Catholic tradition that instructs us that we have an obligation, we have a responsibility to do as much as we are gifted to do. No. And so being here was my way of of uh, making a contribution. And sure enough, um, the fact that I was here when the uh, most intense bombardment of Tripoli, this is Tripoli. I mean, can you imagine? I'm not talking about, you know, out in the farmland uh, where you're just um, uh, despoiling the, the agricultural land. I'm talking about Tripoli, a metropolitan area of 2 million people, and they're being... Uh, hit with bombs. I mean, it is absolutely incredible. And it's called what, humanitarian. Um, what that has to do with any kind of humanitarian intervention is beyond me. This is what we know the United States to be very good at, and particularly on the African continent. We've seen it over and over and over again. Individuals of wealth and resource who are able to pull the levers on U.S. military and diplomatic policy are able to arm a small group of people, give them the financial wherewithal to wreak havoc and terror on a population, and then all of a sudden, presto, abracadabra, you've got what, what is called in the media a civil war. Well, it's not a civil war. It's a group of people who've decided that they want something that that particular area has. For example, in Sierra Leone, it was diamonds. And when the British sandline mercenaries went into the home of Fode Sanko, what did they find there? A letter from Maurice Templesman proposing to do business. So this is the kind of thing that motivates U.S. policy. And I am certain that at the end of an investigation, were we to have one, we would find that there are certain individuals involved in this, and they are able to dictate to the president, to Cameron, to Sarkozy, to all of the NATO allies, they are able to dictate them going to war. Well, we know what That's it's what about. This is about. Uh, the al-Qaeda rebels have already set up their own bank. They've already set up uh, their their own oil company, uh, and it's about handing over the trillions in oil. Also, the water. Uh, say what you want about Muammar Gaddafi. He's built up an infrastructure. Uh, he's actually delivered to the people the government spoils, and it's become a major hub for all of Africa, and he's been developing Africa and moving towards an African currency uh, and a loan program. He's got uh, hundreds of billions uh, in gold and other resources. And you can say what you want about Gaddafi, uh, but bottom line, this is a takeover. You know, how can the neocon media call you a traitor for being over there reporting the truth when it's admitted that what Gaddafi said three months ago is true, that the main force, this is now in the Wall Street Journal and L.A. Times, that is running all this is al-Qaeda. Uh, and in fact, the al-Qaeda commander under CIA payroll admits that he killed U.S. soldiers or, or, or commanded groups in, in, in Iraq. So you're against people that killed U.S. soldiers, and so you're bad. Cynthia, I mean, what's wrong? Just join al-Qaeda, and the neocons are going to say you're great. Well, 
that's exactly the point, because we remember what Robin Cook, the uh, now deceased foreign minister in of, of the United Kingdom, had to say about Al Qaeda. He just said it was the CIA's Rolodex. So um, it, it it is. And he died a week no. later. They killed him real fast. And and they got rid of him. Yeah. So so I mean, you know, it's not a uh, the the situation that the United States is allied with Al Qaeda is not unusual. What is unusual is that they actually admit it, because what they have been uh, saying to the American people and to the world is that al-Qaeda is the bad guy, and that's who we've got to get. But I will never forget the op-ed that was written by Robin Cook. And so I advise everybody, I know you talk about this, and you, you know, you're one of the rare truth tellers, and um, so you will remember this, but uh, the fact that we had someone of Robin Cook's stature and position to tell us the truth about exactly what al-Qaeda was is very important and something not to be forgotten. I agree, and the word was he was going to come out and, and document that they'd murdered Dr. David Kelly. It's now coming out they murdered Diana. Uh, that's big news. And and they couldn't allow him with that with that high level, you know, like number two or three in the British government. They killed him so fast it made uh, everybody's head spin. Now, now, Congresswoman, this is so important. What is the mood of the Libyans under these, you know, these love bombs that are killing so many, these humanitarian <laughs> kinetic attacks? And the word of the attack helicopters coming, more weapons. Yeah. I don't bring this up because you're black. Uh, it's it's in the news. We reported it over a month ago uh, that Gaddafi's been allied with just a coalition, and the tribes he's with are not anti-black African. Uh, and that the and it's admitted that they're lining up blacks and killing them uh, in the areas held by Al Qaeda. Uh, uh, what's the word on that on the genocide against uh, black Africans in Libya? Well, here's another thing that is absolutely astounding, and that is this whole idea that black people shouldn't be in Africa, which is something that was promulgated by the American press. When I, I presume is that when they landed and they saw black people all over Libya, they were shocked. Well, the fact of the matter is that you've got a sizable chunk of black people in Libya, because you've got black people all over Africa. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, you know, it, 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 it's just, it, 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 it's horrible and it's insulting to the Libyans themselves. And so now they have their own citizens who are being killed, beheaded. In fact, I'm having the video of this, I think, uh, there may be some footage of this on the Internet already, but I am getting it uploaded now so that I can disseminate it through my own network um, of um, the, the family members of those uh, Libyans who were lynched. They've gone to lynching and beheadings of the blacks, and this is being done by the NATO allies. Because it's known that... Blacks, on average, are supportive of Gaddafi because he, he doesn't lynch them and chop their heads off. Now, well, look, what, what, Alex, in Libya, guess what? People don't have to go through the insurance company in order to get to see their doctor. They have free health care over here. They don't have to go through a bank in order to uh, have a relationship with their professor at a university because they have free education. Over here, all the way up through the Ph.D. level, you go to school and you don't pay No, no, I, I study pay. Libya. I don't even agree with socialism because it only works if you have a benevolent dictator, and I'm not saying he's that. But Gaddafi does take most of the money and actually use it. That I've, 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 You've been there many times. I've seen the video, the reports. It is a shining jewel of development, and they want that giant canal he's built, that huge airport they built for Africon to launch attacks yeah. all over Africa. I mean, really, Libya is the beachhead to really take over Africa. Is that the word there? That's right.